Hello. In this lesson, we're going to learn about calculating the length of arcs in circles and then a new unit of, of measurement for angles called radians. In these first couple examples, we're going to calculate the length of an arc. Uh, we have to be given the radius. So let's say that this first radius is 10 inches. And so we want to figure out how many inches is it if I walk from point A to point B or vice versa. So what we need to realize is that arc AB is just a piece of the whole circumference of the circle. Remember, circumference is the distance all the way around. If I walk all the way around a circle, that's circumference. Well, this is just a fraction of that. And we see that since this is a 60 degree angle, 60 compared to 360, that is one sixth. So the measure or the length of arc AB, <coughs> length of arc AB, we, we usually use the letter S for arc length. So S in this case is going to be one sixth of the circumference. Okay, and we know that the circumference of a circle is. 2 times pi times the radius, which in this case is 10. So that is 20 pi over 6, which reduces to 10 pi over 3. <clears throat> and that would be in inches. Or I can approximate it using decimals. And so if I use the pi button on my calculator, 10 pi divided by 3 is about 10.47 inches. Okay, now example B is the same idea. Let's, uh, let's put, a, put in a radius here so we need to know the radius. Let's say that is 8 centimeters. And so if the radius is 8 centimeters, we want to know how many centimeters is it from point B to point A or from point A to point B. And so again, we need to figure out what fraction of the whole circumference is this arc. Now we can see that since this is a 90 degree angle, that is one fourth of the whole circle because 90 over 360 is one fourth. And so we're going to take one fourth of the circumference. So the arc length S is going to be one fourth of circumference, so that is one fourth times two times pi times eight. That's 16 pi over four or four pi. And that's in centimeters. So four pi centimeters as a decimal, four pi is about 12.57. So that's 12.57 centimeters is the length. So if you walked along this circle from point A to point B, you would walk a distance of 12.57 centimeters. So that's called arc length. And what we want to recognize is how did we come up with this fraction one-sixth in problem A and the fraction one-fourth in problem B. And we see that we did that by comparing the central angle to 360 degrees in both cases. So in general, when we're trying to find the measure of an arc that has a measure of m degrees, the first thing we want to do is do m over 360 to get the fraction of the circumference. And then we multiply times circumference, which we know is 2 pi r. So the fraction of the circle times the circumference. So that is a formula that we can use for arc length. Go ahead and apply that formula to examples C, D, and E. So right now I'd like you to press pause on your video player, solve these three problems, and then press play to see if you got them correct. Okay, in example C, our fraction, our, uh, sorry, our arc length is the fraction 40 over 360 times 2 times pi 
times the radius. And so that is going to be 40 over 360 is 1 ninth times 16 pi. So that is exactly 16 pi over 9 centimeters. And we can approximate that with a decimal. 16 pi divided by 9 is approximately 5.59 centimeters. So those are your two answers. The first answer is an exact answer. The second one is an approximation using an approximation for pi. Example D. Uh, we have a 60 degree angle, but that's not the central angle. Remember, since this is an inscribed angle, that makes this a 120 degree arc. And so our arc length is going to be 120 over 360 times the circumference. Our radius is 4, so that's 2 times pi times 4. So um, 120 over 360 is one third of the circle. So that's one third of 8 pi. That is 8 pi over 3 inches. as a decimal. That is about 8.38 inches. And for example E, <clears throat> um, since we have an angle that's on the edge of the circle created by a tangent and a chord, that's a 36 degree angle which means the measure of arc AB, uh, remember the angle is always half of the arc, so that means the arc must be twice that, and so that is 72 degrees. Measure of arc AB is 72 degrees. And so um, to find the length of the arc, the length of the arc is going to be 72 over 360 times the circumference, which is 2 times pi times 12. <coughs> 72 over 360 is one-fifth of the circle, so we're going to do one-fifth of 24 pi. In exact format, that is 25 pi over 5, sorry, 24 pi over 5, and that is in uh, meters, and that is approximately 24 pi divided by 5 on the calculator is about 15.08 meters. So again, we have an exact answer and an approximated answer. So that completes the first part of our lesson, which is on finding arc lengths given the angle measure. And the second part of our lesson today is on uh, using a new unit of measurement called radians. Now, so far, every angle that we've measured is, has been in degrees. And we all have a pretty good idea of how big one degree is because we've seen it on our protractor. So we have a visual of what a degree looks like. We, we know how big, approximately how big 30 degrees is and 90 degrees and so on. So I'm sure everybody's very comfortable working in degrees. But we do have another unit of measurement which is going to become more and more useful as you get into higher mathematics and into pre-calculus and calculus. Uh, radians are more useful in those cases. And so what we need to understand is that a radian of a circle is just the angle that you get when you wrap a radius around the edge of the circle. Okay. So it's no coincidence that the word radian and the word radius are almost spelled the same because they are almost the same. What a radian is, is if I take this radius, so I'm going to take this radius and I'm going to, let's say I hold it up here, I take that radius and I move it over to here, I'm going to wrap that around the edge of the circle and so my radius is going to bend around the circle and it would end right about there. <coughs> And uh, so that angle, if that's one radius that I just bent around the edge of the circle, then this angle is called one radian. Okay? So one radian is 
the same as the angle that you get when you have an arc length of one radius. Now if I continue doing that, if I wrap another radius around here, so I, I bend around another radius, that puts me to about right there. Now this would be two radians starting from here and going all the way over to here, <clears throat> going from A to C. So the measure of arc AC in radians would be two radians. And if I do it again, that would wrap me around to about right there. And that is, uh, if I call that point D, the measure of arc AD is, looks like about three radians. Okay, or exactly three radians if I, if I wrapped three radius lengths around there. Now notice that that doesn't quite reach the other side. That's because in order to reach the other side, I need a little bit more than three radius lengths. What I need is pi radians. 3.14 radius lengths will reach me to the other side of the circle. So that means going all the way around would take two pi radians. <coughs> so um, the measure of an angle in radians is just how many radius lengths does it take you around the edge of the circle, okay? So now that we recognize that um, this 180 degree mark is the same as pi radians and two pi brings me all the way to the other side um, is the same as 360 degrees, we can use that as conversion, okay? We can use that ratio in, in conversion. So we know now that pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. Okay? So if I want to take this 60 degree angle, I'm going to write it in words, 60 degrees. Uh, we can use unit conversion just like you do in science class and like you may have done in your algebra class. To do unit conversion, to get rid of degrees, I need degrees in the bottom. I want to convert that to radians. So we need to write a ratio, how many degrees is how many radians. Now we know that 180 degrees, 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. And so now the degrees cancels. I have 60 over 180, which is one third. So that is pi over three radians. So 60 degrees is the same as pi over three radians. <clears throat> okay, let's do the same thing with 45 degrees. 45 degrees. I'm gonna, uh, I want the degrees to cancel, so I'm gonna put, again, I'm gonna put degrees in the bottom, radians on the top, and we know that the conversion ratio is pi radians is exactly the same as 180 degrees. And so now I have 45 pi over 180. The degrees cancel, and that is radians. That fraction can be simplified. That is the same as pi over 4, because 45 over 180 is 1 fourth, and so that's pi over 4 radians. And so 45 degrees is exactly the same as pi over 4 radians. Okay, go ahead and press pause on your player. Try converting uh, example C to convert 120 degrees into radians. And then press play when you're ready to see the answer. Okay, for example C, uh, we're going to call this 120 degrees. And then we're going to convert by multiplying by pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. Degrees cancel. I have 120 pi over 180 radians. Now both of those are divisible by 60, so that would be 2 pi over 3 radians in simplified form. So 120 degrees is the same as 2 pi over 3 radians. Okay, now we're going to convert the other direction. These, even though they don't have units that are given, um, it says in the directions that they are radian measures and also anytime we see 
a pi and an angle measure, that's a, a hint that those are radian measures. So radians, the unit radian is not always written in the problem. Uh, when we see an, uh, a measure in terms of pi, we think of it in terms of radians. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add on the units there. This is pi over 2 radians. Now I want to multiply by a fraction that's going to get rid of the radians. So we want radians in the bottom this time, and we want to convert that to degrees. So again, we know that pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. And so notice that the pi's cancel, the radians cancel, and I have 180 over 2 degrees. So 180 divided by 2, that is 90 degrees. So pi over 2 radians is the same as 90 degrees. Now that should make sense because we already said that going halfway around is pi radians. So if I only go half of that, that is one-fourth of the circle. That is um, uh, 90 degrees. It, it cuts pi in half. And so this is 90 degrees, and it's also pi over 2. Okay, go ahead and pe press pause on your video player and try examples B and C, and then press play when you're ready to check your work. Example B, again this is in radians, and we want the radian measure to go away, so we put radians in the bottom, degrees in the top, and so this is 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. The radians cancel, the pi's cancel. We get 3 times 180, which is 540 over 4 degrees. And that is 135 degrees. So 3 pi over 4 radians is the same as 135 degrees. Again, we can kind of relate that to the drawing. We said this is pi. If I cut that into fourths, this would be 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths. So 3 fourths of pi, well, if we also know this is 180 degrees. So if I cut that into fourths, that's 45, 45, 45. 45, and so if I have 3 fourths pi, that's 3 of these 45 degree angles, 3 times 45 is 135. So we can confirm um, in this visual why that is, why 3 pi over 4 is the same as 135 degrees. Okay, and then pi over 6, um, let's approach this one the other way. So this time we'll start with the circle. This is pi which is 180 degrees. So if I cut that into six equal parts, six equal angles, each one would have to be 180 divided by six, that's 30. So each of these would be 30 degrees. Well, how many of those are we using? It says one sixth pi. So, um, so pi over six is the same as 30 degrees. Okay? Or Using the unit conversion method, let's call this pi over 6 radians. We're going to multiply by, uh, we want radians in the bottom so that those cancel. So we need degrees in the top. 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. The pi's cancel. We get 180 over 6 degrees. That is 30 degrees. So either way that you do it, whether you use the, the graphic or whether you use the unit conversion, pi over 6 is exactly the same as 30 degrees. Pi over 6 radians is the same as 30 degrees. And that completes today's lesson. So that corresponds to uh, section 16.2 in our book. Good luck.